Yeah, what's up, what's up, people? My name is Lassie Silvio Washington. People call me the Anton Boy of the Radio, but I call myself the Radio Space Star. And um, I want to officially welcome you to this kind of show on our channel because um, uh, this is the first time we are obviously doing this kind of thing. And um, we feel that there is a need for us to cue uh, in into the trend of, of this time. And that is why we are doing it. Uh, basically, today I'll be talking about the coronavirus and how it has actually been affecting the world. You know, personally, uh, I'll, I'll come from a personal perspective uh, right now. The first way coronavirus has affected me has been in my business. You know, if you follow our trend, you follow our channel, you will produce on the spot. And then I remember last week Sunday calling the host of on the spot and we had a conversation i asked him we're ready like the second season is supposed to kick off in march and you know we're supposed to go on go on live before the end of march and then he told me in plain words shag i'm not going out with you <laughs> i asked why and then he was like are you not following the news like you don't know what is going on so uh, that's the first way it, it, you know, it has affected me personally as a business owner and um, I'm, I'm trying to stay safe, uh, I'm keeping, keeping up with the details of, of the time and um, I know that this will pass, it will go down, when it will go down I don't know and of course I do not, um, I do not pray goes for long because it's already affecting businesses now so let me talk about let me give you a breakdown a breakdown of uh, world top countries or okay let me put it the way, this way the countries that has you know recorded the highest number of corona cases in the world now we have china at 81,736 we have italy at uh, 74,000 386 cases 69,000 in the US 49,000 in Spain Spain's own started going up really fast recently in recent time followed by Germany which is in 37,000 and uh, Iran which is in uh, you know 27,000 now Ch China has uh, recovered 61,000 cases who has you know gotten healed from this coronavirus 9,625 9, in Iran Italy has recovered 9,362 and Spain has recovered 5,367 so I'm glad to tell you that coronavirus is not a death sentence and I just want to add to it that uh, this video I'm recording this video from Nigeria and Nigeria is a very religious country and um, we believe in the second coming of Jesus as a Christian and as Muslims we believe that you know God is punishing the world well I'm a Christian I believe all these things but then I do not want us to hinge this on on that perspective you know pandemic world outbreaks it happens a lot of times and this is not the first time it will happen in the world i mean in 20 between 2005 and uh 2012 hiv was at its peak you know killed almost 36 million people flu pandemic in you know in 1968 you know killed a million people you know asian flu in 1956 kills 2 million you know i mean i'm even seeing one here the flu pandemic in 1918 killed 20 to 50 million people so corona is just yeah we've recorded amazing number of cases in the world at the moment i mean 500,000 cases right now it's serious but then i do not want us to see it as the end of the world i do not want us to see it as you know uh, well, maybe we can say God is angry with the world. Maybe let's we can if you have a spiritual 
perspective to it you know i i, mean, I called my dad yesterday that we were talking and he was like you know all these things is just the world is god we have seen and you know it's quite understandable and if you hold that perspective it's good just keep praying for the world keep asking for forgiveness and as you are doing that please do not forget to uh take necessary precautions because it's it's weird for me i felt really bad on sunday that africa here in nigeria people really do not take this thing serious and uh, which is why uh yes nigeria has recorded they said 42 if I'm, if I'm right i think 42 cases in nigeria now and i i I'm, I'm scared because i feel that the number is much much more than that because people do not listen we are not taking precautions in africa right now at the moment we are not really taking that precaution people are still going out but i'm glad that recently lagos state in nigeria you know has started you know a full lockdown on the city and to uh Quara state i was i was reading about Quara state too i think they have also started uh their lockdown and then you know i'm glad that we are doing that but as of last week when everything was really crazy you know the precautions people went to church people were saying no it's an attack on the church it's uh, no it's not an attack on the church it's an attack on humanity on the entire world on islam on 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 not just christianity on islam on judaism on every every aspect of human being so we should not take it personal and we should not see it as the end of the world we just need to be very careful i spoke with my friends from different part of the world and them um, uh i gathered a report on how this is affecting them i'm going to drop it it's going to come after this talk and then um, i want you to know that it's it's not in one part of the world don't, don't feel it's it's affecting your country alone or it's affecting your locality alone all over the world so i'll be sharing with you what these people said how it's affecting them in the united states how it's affecting them in different parts of the united states different states of the united states i was affecting them in amsterdam uh no in netherlands i spoke with someone within netherlands and um, another part of the world February 27th, yeah, the first case of the coronavirus was confirmed here in the Netherlands. And here we are, 34 days after, we have more than 4,200 cases, which is actually the 11th highest in the whole world. Yeah, the pandemic seems to receive some kind of slow response at the initial stage. But currently now, yeah, there have been more restrictions by the Dutch government to ensure that the spread is slowed down to the barest minimum. In the last one and a half weeks, uh, there have been no activities in schools all over the country. And yeah, children, school children are made to stay at home with their parents. And also this also affected tertiary education, the undergraduates and even graduate students. I can confidently say that all schools in the Netherlands are, are closed right now. Also, uh, even in the facility where I stay now, uh, our system has changed everything. There, there are no opportunities for people to sit together and meet in open places. All that has been stopped because of this same virus. Uh, I think in a society like this, that even seems quite organized and there are so much strict measures like this, I think it's just a lesson for uh, everyone all around the world where the cases recorded are still quite minimum to take it very serious at the early stage because yeah you can also see like I tried to explain the rate of the spread is so much. Greetings folks my name is Donovan Longmore I am from Connecticut over here in the United States as you guys know it's uh, causing a big epidemic all over the world um here in the united states um several states have shut down 
um, grocery stores are empty, you know, schools are closed, people even losing their jobs. But at the same time, we have medical teams that's out here telling us how to live throughout this whole crisis and the things to do. Um, everybody know the major problem is to wash your hands for 20 seconds and warm soap water and make sure you get under your fingernails. That's one of the most important things. Try to stay away from um, other people. There's a big social distancing here. And um, stay home as much as possible. If your job is not essential, don't go outside. Um, make sure you have enough food. I know there's a big shortage here in Connecticut with food in certain areas. Certain stores and gas stations have um, run out of gas, food, and everything. And um, certain businesses are shut down. Some people even lost their jobs. But nonetheless, we're trying to cope as much as possible. I think Connecticut is up now close to 40 deaths. And um, we're just trying to keep ourselves safe and, um, you know, stay at home as much as possible. Last week, almost two weeks ago, I went to the store. And it was like a ghost store. I mean, it's like, this is not my store, my community. So it's really a big adjustment. And we only can hope more people will follow the orders of the state or the CDC and self-quarantine and stop passing the virus alone. That's all we can do. Just pray for America, pray for the world. We all need each other. One of the things that we're doing is we're striving to stay informed. We're using local news as well as national. I get online from time to time to see what's going on locally as well as national just to get more information to find what's consistent and accurate. We also make sure that we're striving to enjoy this time as a family. This is what I recommend to a lot of you guys. Enjoy yourselves. Take time out to get to know each other even more. Do the things that are fun and social. But remember, with that socialization, <laughs> keep it in the house. Let me talk about what people should do at this time. Uh, I know that people, it's hard right now on we humans. We love to relate, we are social beings, uh, but then the social distancing thing is, is the goal, is the main thing, and is the best way to cope it right now. So uh, it's one of the biggest things that world nations, communities are doing right now to prevent the spread of the disease. Now please take it serious. I know in some part of the world, I had that, I don't know how true it is, but I had that in some part of China, they will go to your house and then they would, you know, put the cross, the cross then, you know, to seal you inside and so that you don't come out. I don't know how true that is, but I think that's a very good approach to it because at times, you know, people just want to go out, people want to, which I, of course I don't blame them. But at this point, we just need to do everything we need to do, everything within our power to stop the spread of the coronavirus. So social distancing, please keep distance. Stay at home anywhere you are in the world. Please stay at home. It's very important. And make sure you, if you are sick, make sure you use your mask so that you don't spread it. All right. Wash your hands regularly with, I think, alcohol-based um, sanitizers use sanitizers alcohol based sanitizers wash your hand regularly if you have surfaces in your house that you touch frequently please try as much as possible to clean them all right and um uh check on people check on your people all right and um, make sure that everybody is safe and try to armor it to them also to stay safe to stay home to wash their hands, to not touch their face, to not touch their nose, so that everybody in the world. And one thing I like about, you know, the coronavirus, I don't know if the world should be like. One thing I like about this outbreak is that it's putting the world, the entire world, on the same level. Now, uh, I used to, there was a time where the main thing on the world news was Iran, the war, the war in Iran, the war in China, the war in, uh, in, in the war in Iran, in Somalia, in Syria, and you know, since you are not there, you know, you feel oh, okay, yeah, all the best to them, you know, 
since it's not getting to me it's not affecting me so uh but the coronavirus made us see another part of of, of this of the whole story you know you cannot say because you're in china or you're in asia or you're in africa you're in europe it does not get to you you know we are all fighting the same war the same battle to keep the human species alive okay lastly let me talk about how people are getting entertained and i think that is a very good topic to talk about okay netflix uh has been a huge friend of the entire world population at the moment now they have been the major platform that the entire world is looking to to get entertained since you no longer can go to parties you can go out you can go on a date you can go visit a friend or something all you need to do right now is to be on netflix find movies and spend a lot of time that's what the world is doing and yesterday uh netflix came out to apologize to people in the united states uh because they had difficulties in signing in on their netflix account and that is as a result of the huge number of people you know coming up on the netflix platform another platform another major player right now in the entertainment industry right at the moment is the tiktok families people individuals are creating more content to pass the time so uh in short there is really no excuse for you not to get entertained there is really no reason for you to be bored you know once you can assess the netflix or assess your tiktok or you can go on youtube or you can go on instagram or on facebook depending on whichever one you prefer most and then sort yourself out so with that i'll be saying uh keep enjoying the time the corona time and stay away from people don't say we're from people how do i even say it okay you understand what i'm saying all right stay safe ensure that you maintain your precautions and then it's sure that you'll be safe until the next time on this show my name is lassie and i'm your host <laughs>